How's it going, boys, girls, and squirrels? We're back watching Demon Slayer. Things are looking up from where last we left. Tokido's coming out of his bubble and he's doing just fine. Tanjiro's gotta be damned because he's fighting some wood dragons. Couldn't really make that work in the context of Mr. Brightside. That's fine. No one's really coming here for my creativity anyway. I know you guys just use me as a bootleg way to watch Demon Slayer Season 3 for free. It's fine. I'm not even heard about it. Let's move on. <laughs> Oh, we're finally addressing the needle sticking out of your face? Honestly, you'd been in that bubble for so long, I genuinely forgot they were even poisoned. Oh god, here comes the rest of the French wait staff. I'm sure they're dangerous, but this is such a less intimidating threat than the giant fish we were dealing with earlier. Casa! This chick's dead. You kidding me? It's the year 1912 and she's got a fever and a backstory. Alright, that's not something people bounce back from. <laughs> Dog, you're cooking her! Get that blanket off! <laughs> Dog, she's freezing. Get her another blanket. <laughs> Real tough. Real tough series of events to happen in one day. God, that is rough. Look at him back when he only had two little hair tails, too. What, does he grow a new one each year starting at age 10? What? What a horrible way to let us know that he has a twin who's gonna die a year after this. side with Muichiro, but we've got some excellent points being made from both parties here. First off, what a horrible name. Second, that absolutely rocked my understanding of the Japanese language. I thought I vaguely knew how Japanese names worked. Not the case. That made almost no sense to me. The Mu in Muichiro stands for incompetence. I just don't understand how that can be the case. <laughs> Cute matching rompers, guys. Really making it easy to tell you two apart right now. Oh, wild. Is this is how he gets recruited into the Hashira? I feel like demons existing isn't a very exciting revelation to have. That's not like, oh my god, can you believe superheroes exist? It's more like, hey, did you hear demons are real and probably so is hell? That sucks. What a terrifying thing to learn one day. At age 11. <laughs> No, yeah, but like, that's kind of what he's trying to tell you. I'm pretty sure you two are chosen ones. This woman came down from the mountains and was like, you two are descendants of powerful swordsmen. And this guy's like, okay, yeah, but like, doesn't mean we're chosen or anything. Listen, I still maintain that the CGI looks good, but this has almost entirely become a full CGI show. That water looked entirely real. This spoon he's holding is CGI right now. The background is CGI. Tokido is the only 2D thing in this entire environment. It works and it looks fine. I'm, I'm just saying they are starting to push what you can call a 2D show. Huh? <gasps> 
Whoa, wow, that was horrifying. I love a like reverse jump scare, like a silent jump scare, like a, like a cringe scare. Cause I guess you don't jump, right? You just kind of sink in and do one of these. That was so like the fact that there was ambient sound that got sucked away when the scare showed up made it so much cooler than if there was like a loud musical stinger because it like focuses on the horror of not noticing something threatening in your presence. You know what I mean? Like the horror of that moment was that there is this dangerous creature in the room with them and they almost didn't notice it at all. Rather than the horror of something just loud and jumping out at you. Okay, wow, fuck me, that was brutal. You see, and what's so great about that moment is that it really hones in on the fear of having your brother's severed arm whiz past your head. Not a lot of movies or shows are willing to go that far, but you know, that's just, that's just a really specific and niche brand of horror that I think needs to be uh, represented a bit more. <laughs> Okay, right? This whole background right now is completely CGI. But it looks amazing, and it's totally unintrusive. Like, you wouldn't even notice if you weren't specifically looking for it. I'm totally cool with entire backgrounds being fully CGI if it's integrated well. It's just when we start getting characters, like, interacting with CG objects or entire character models being 3D, that things start to feel a little wacky and intrusive. <laughs> Holy farm tools, Tokido! What the fuck did you do to him? This is such an abstract crime scene that I can't even piece together in my mind how this fight went down. Even with the full capacity of my imaginative abilities, I cannot fathom how somebody would end up in this position. If Yuichiro is dead right now, it's gonna be the least shocking reveal in anime history. He spent the whole night working on that fucking modern art installation. Meanwhile, your brother is stuck in the cabin trying to scoop all the blood back into the top half of his bicep. Oh my god, he's actually alive. That's actually way more shocking than if he was dead. Muijiro, buddy, I promise you, you do not want to be in the room right now. This is going to fuck you up way harder than if you walked in on your brother already dead. To be perfectly clear though, you getting in his way kind of saved his life. Ruined your guitar playing career, but saved your brother for sure. Oh, that just fucked me up so hard! Why was that the perfect end to that sentence? Oh, that's right, this guy's still at it. Just let him cook, dude! Like, you're telling me at this point you don't just want to see how the sword turns out? Are you smiling or frowning right now? Because your mouth eye is frowning, but your eye mouths are smiling, so what the fuck is going on right now? Did another one of these goddamn swords just fucking break? Is that what I just saw? Because I better not have. Also, great call on the tentacle attack. That's way cooler than the French waiters you've been throwing at him. Yo, the grind don't stop, dude. The grindstone does not stop. You either live by the grind or die behind. That's just a swordsman way, baby. Oh, he gave a nervous Hyo! I didn't like that. Hyo should only be happy. 
ずいぶん感覚が鈍いみたいだね何百年も生きてるからだよ<笑> Oh clean tactical precise that was slick as hell I love how his tiny hands came in to cover it like oh oh my little neck 無限の力を出せる God, the colors of this show are so good. The colors of Tokido's mist breathing look so good against the colors of the tentacles. And I also like how each season has kind of had its own like color palette, sort of. Like season one felt very identifiable because it had a lot of like purples and pinks. Although, that could just be because the most memorable part of season one was the Rui fight. Season two had a lot of purples and greens, but like, a different shade of purple. Not like Nezuko's fire purple, like Daki's outfit purple. And then this season is very identifiable, because it's a lot of like, cold, cold blues and like, shocking yellows. I just like that it isn't just a dark forest, like the cold color palette really makes this location feel unique and like, visually stimulating. Look, I'm gonna level with you here. I'm, t I'm taking that fucking head off. なんだかすごく俺は調子がいいんだ今どうしてだろう like、Tokido, そう言われても君には尊敬できるところが一つもないからな見た目も喋り方もとにかく気色が悪いし I can't believe it took nine episodes into this season for somebody to finally bring up Gyoko's appearance、But、like that's all you got? He's creepy? Lay into him, Tokido! I had like a dozen insults for this guy right off the rip! So, 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 Yeah, alright, lay into his face. I didn't even think of that. I was so joking before, by the way. I did not expect this to turn into an actual roast. This scene feels like it's pandering directly to me and nobody else. Demon Slayer is giving me exactly what I asked for immediately after asking for it. Oh, it rattled him! Oh, not the 10,000 gliding slime fish! That. That's my favorite attack name I've ever heard. The gliding slime fish sounds like a hockey team that's never won a game before. This is why I hate poison attacks in shows. Because it never actually means anything. The only effect Poison has during an anime fight is causing the main character to never shut up about being poisoned. And then by the end, they're just gonna bullshit the poison out of their system anyway, just like stop using it. I hate it. It only ever comes up when it's convenient, and then it's just gone when the writers choose to ignore it. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Sick. Here comes more poison. Oh, why did you slip out of your skin? Oh, let's go. New form. That's super hype. Hi, hi. Yo, roast his ass! Tokido, more like Jokido! This dude's killing it! Tokido's over here just trying out material on this guy. He's relentless. If this slaying demons thing doesn't work out, he's got a great career on the open mic circuit ahead of him. Let him have it. Let him have it, Tokido. Come on, what do you got? Flawless execution of the silent treatment, Tokido. Yo, tag me in. I got this one. 
Yoko looks like a mermaid tried to make a scarecrow. He looks like Raggedy Ann going through her goth fishnet phase. He looks like Coraline turned into a Hellboy monster. But most importantly, he looks wildly underwhelming. This is a way worse design than baby hands. I'm like, pretty disappointed. <laughs> Do his attacks <laughs> turn things to fish? Okay. All right, I respect the originality. <laughs> Waiting for Tokido to just cough up a fish. Oh, he got me in the oh, he got me in the lungs. <laughs> I have absolutely come around on the idea of Tokido. Between his killer stand-up special and this badass backstory, he's, like, so much cooler than when we first met him. I don't want Tokido to die, but I would be lying if I said I didn't want to see his head replaced with a fish. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Okay! Holy shit, that was the first time a demon slayer has ever been scarier than a demon in this show. Huh? Yo, did Gyoko just die? Is that the end of Gyoko? That's ridiculous. I feel like he's barely been in the season. Oh, never mind. Fucking kill it. Kill it before the baby hands come back. Yo, excellent call. We need more of that energy in the Demon Slayer core. All right, Gyoko's dead. That's wild. That's wild that the emotion demon outlasted him. I get that Huntengu is stronger than Gyoko, like he's number four and Gyoko's number five. But still, like Gyoko was by far the more interesting of the two demons, like personality wise at least, and design wise. So that's kind of a bummer that he's already dead. Like, I even- his powers were kind of even cooler, too. Also, I swear to god if this fucking poison comes back now. <laughs> Yep, here we go. Fuck you, poison. Oh, look at Rengoku saving the day from the grave. God damn, I miss that flaming barn owl. Hold on. Oh, this is not a good sign. This is the kind of shit characters usually see right before they die in this show. Specifically if you're a Hashira. Arigato. Oh my god, meanwhile, Tanjiro is trying not to get devoured by a hundred wooden dragons. <laughs> This guy's got too many fucking abilities. How is this just the upper four? What could Doma possibly do that tops a sonic breathing dragon? Also, I just remembered, fucking Akaza's above this guy. This is way crazier than anything Akaza is capable of. Oh my god, what the hell did you just cough up? That was not the color of the liquid I expected to come out of your mouth. Usually it's like red or white or blue. That shit was brown, dude. Oh, his poor socked little foot. Jesus, that thing broke from every possible angle. Oh, oh my god, the worst possible outcome. Holy shit, I did not expect it to eat him just then. <laughs> Can you just fucking summon some shadow clones already and bust out of this thing? This crunching noise is horrible. <laughs>
終わりだ。Oh, let's go! I'm constantly forgetting Mitsuri exists! すごいお化け何あれカンロさん大丈夫ごめんね、遅れちゃって。ギリギリだったね。Yeah, you were cutting it close? Thing broke all of his bones! If anything, I'd say you were cutting it late! Yo, her whip sword is so sick. I love that some of the Hashira have different weapons aside from just regular, like, straight katanas. I mean, so far it's just Tengen and Mitsuri, but still, I appreciate the variety. And that is episodes 8 and 9, I believe. Yes, of Demon Slayer. Good episodes. Um, really. Good looking shit, but that's kind of to be expected at this point. Minor bummer, Gyoko doesn't get to live to the last two episodes. Cause like I said, he's just all around like the more interesting of the two demons, I would say. It's cool that this guy splits into mo like his power is cool, but coupled with his personality, or multiple personalities, if you were. Uh, it's just not as interesting as Gyoko. But regardless, I'm sure, like, the next two episodes are gonna be hype as hell as, like, most of the season has been already. But as always, let me know what you thought of this episode or these episodes in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the video and comment your favorite jokes from the video down below as well. And I will see you all next time. Hold on to me, baby.